welcome to super money <clears throat> if you're wondering what is the greatest secret of investing let me tell you there are no secrets of investing so let's go back in time maybe 1700s uh, the 18th century a uh, lot of people used to die of smallpox and polio right so uh, then they there was a guy called jenner who discovered the uh, smallpox vaccine in fact the smallpox vaccine is uh, derived from uh, smallpox of the cow right it's from that word that the vaccine word has been derived and uh, it's uh, the probability of you dying if you got if you contracted uh, smallpox the probability of you dying was 33% something like 20% of the british population uh, died of smallpox so this is the same uh, people who say that they brought civilization to us but the number of uh, deaths in uh, uk was very high or whatever it was called the great britain and they took smallpox with them to us and killed a lot of people in the us too but whatever that uh, whatever it was uh, then when the smallpox was uh, vaccine was discovered then the polio vaccine was discovered then there was only one way of solving the smallpox problem or the chickenpox problem you just took a vaccine and after that it didn't hit you right or uh, chickenpox hit you once and then it went away then so but smallpox was killer so why am i saying this that after this discovery was made there was no question of how to uh, attack smallpox or polio you took a vaccination and that's it after that there are no uh, arguments about it so you will not find an article saying uh, seven ways of uh, fighting uh, say polio or seven ways of fighting smallpox it's very simple there is just one way of doing it just take it and uh, be done with it right so if you want to go to delhi from bombay in the next uh, 24 hours or next 18 hours the only way to go is take a plane and go so there are no books on uh, how to reach delhi from bombay in 4 hours there is no such books right you don't need such books this is one way and there is no uh, discovery to be made after that right the planes can get faster or you might get trains which reach in 2 hours that's a different thing but right now that is the solution why am i talking about all this simply because uh, in investing there is no such one way of doing it and uh, let us take three four uh, examples where there is no one way of doing it one is golf uh, second is playing chess uh, third is investing and fourth is uh, nutrition food and health right all i'm putting all the three in one category now uh, since there are no there is no need to look at how to treat smallpox or how to treat polio you don't find too many people writing articles on that but the media is full of articles on nine ways to create wealth 22 ways to create wealth 14 ways to create wealth right uh, how to pick the right stocks as though believing that if you pick the right stocks uh, you will always make money right that's, that's not true because uh, whether it is facebook or google or wipro or uh, any share if you had bought at the original ipo or even pre ipo if you could and you held on till today you would have definitely made money the question is not mathematically whether that is correct of course mathematically that is correct the question is emotionally when the share price falls 87% in a year or 82% in a month or something like that will you have the ability to hold on to it right so buy, does buy and hold work yes buy and hold works but buy and hold would have destroyed you in very many companies if you had just bought and held uh, silver line it would be worth nothing if you bought and held pateja forging companies no clue where the company is right or k there are tons of example where buy and hold would have just burnt a hole through your uh, uh, through your wealth right so does uh, trading work well it works for soros it does not work for buffett right so you don't know what works for whom that is the problem with uh, investing uh, for all of us some things work some things don't work so for example uh, uh, what worked for me was uh, i uh, lived in a place where lot of people were investing in equities i uh, i did reasonably well in academics got myself a ca degree understood balance sheets better and i did lot of buy and hold did i do trading yes i did trading did i do day trading i did day trading do i do day trading very rarely but two three times in a year 
डू आई डू डिलीवरी बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग येस आई डू डिलीवरी बेस्ड ट्रेडिंग आई डू ऑल काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स इज इट स्किल इज इट लक there is a lot of luck and there is some skill right the skill is in avoiding things which i don't understand the skill in ta- uh, taking my profits very quickly uh, sorry we are taking my losses very quickly and letting my profits run or taking very small uh, baby steps towards uh, some shares uh, for example i believe that i will touch a company only if it is a blue chip in the sense that it has got good long track record doing well etc but i also realize that i cannot get every share with that criteria so i change my criteria so some companies where i think it has got good potential uh, i am happy to buy when it does not fulfill any of those norms right so when uh, ashwath damodaran said 47 is a good price to buy uh, zomato i listened to him so i bought zomato at that price similarly at about 850 or 900 i bought uh, indigo and i believe it's a, it's going to be a multi bagger over long period of time same thing i believe with say zomato and i'm happy to hold on to these shares for a long period of time but does it mean my portfolio will be full of such companies for heaven's sake no all this put together won't be more than 2% or 5% of my portfolio no way how i would put the companies which are yet to prove themselves in terms of cash flow Uh, as a very big part of my portfolio it would be a small part but it is not as though it is not there so is there one way uh, the top most secret i can tell you about investing is uh, there are no top secrets it's just not there i have done one earlier called the holy grail of investing there is no holy grail of investing you will try everything whatever i tell you you will try your day trading you will try your uh, maybe some of you will even try crypto i have never tried uh, anything in crypto right so i know what i don't understand but i am not against investing in crypto there are people who may have made money there are people who have made a lot of money like uh, niranjan hiranandan he made a lot of money in real estate for me it is not suitable i am not getting into should you invest in real estate not invest in real estate will you make money i don't know but i know one thing i know what worked for me i know i did my bcom i did my ca i got into practice then i gave it up i became a member at the national stock exchange that worked for me i can tell you what worked for me i can't tell you what will work for you for me uh, uh, when i bought uh, coromandel international the person my classmate who is now no the multi billionaire who is now no longer alive uh, he said are you super this is a commodity should you be buying this will you make money he felt commodities won't make money i also agree that commodities don't make money over a long period of time but look at the charts of uh, coromandel international from 2000 from 1986 then from 2009 or 2006 it is just gone uh, through the roof it has done a lot of thing EID Perry another uh, share which is a complete commodity i have made money in that right so the question is some theories will work some won't work you have to see what works for you and whether you have the temperament like if you if i had asked you to buy wipro in 1980 uh, and uh, you put 10000 rupees it would be worth 700 crores that's right that is theory same thing for an amazon same thing for a google same thing for very many companies the question to ask is would you have stuck around there would you have known that there is something called buy and hold which will work in wipro but won't work in silver line it is very difficult it is easy with hindsight to say well this work for me uh, i bought infosys at uh, 57 or not 57 sorry uh, at 100 and some odd and uh, or 300 and some odd and sorry yeah i bought it at about 300 rupees and sold it at 750 saying why my god 45 days my money is uh, more than doubled right and then i got in got out got in got out i still hold some infosys but i did not hold infosys from the ipo date of 100 till today right i didn't hold and i know people who sold uh, infosys when the uh, tcs issue came so what works for you is important there is no other holy grail or uh, Uh, top secret of investing one very important part of um, this investing process is to understand that literature does not convey the real feeling for example uh, when we read about uh, say kashmir uh, riots or uh, i mean kashmir carnage people were killed for us it's a news item right for me a bigger news item was in 1969 when our houses were attacked in mumbai 
uh, I was sleeping and the stone flew past my head. I didn't know that the stone flew past my head, uh, pretty close to my eye and uh, it landed somewhere. It didn't create any harm except breaking the window. Right? Could it have fallen on my eye? Yeah, my life would have been very different. But I remember that like as if it happened yesterday. I was 7 years old and 50 years later, I still remember that uh, incident. Right? So, uh, what you personally go through is something which uh, you find it very difficult to explain through books. For example, I can't imagine explaining the sentiment of India winning in England and West Indies in 1971. I was very young. Uh, but I still remember that very vaguely. But 1983 is well etched in my. I remember where I was sitting. Uh, it was a brand new t color TV had just come into India, right? You are talking of 1983, uh, and uh, all those things. I can remember every ball vividly. But can I expect to convey that through? Uh, written literature answer is no, you have to be a great writer like Swami Vivekanand to be able to convey all that in your writing, right. So, but in investing also I have the same take, it is impossible to uh, teach everything, it is impossible to put fear into you just by writing or to say oh in 1993 my income fell by hold your breath 95 percent, yes 95 percent let me repeat that, right. Uh, so, can I convey that ever through my writing or my videos? The answer is no, you have to go through it yourself, right? So, I, so people keep saying that if you learn cycling and swimming once, you can never forget it in your life. Same thing is true in investing. When you put your money, when you lose money, uh, your own money, hard earned money, and that kind of thing can never be captured by literature or videos. So, you have to go through that. So, that experience cannot be taught, right? That is another thing. So, you will make mistakes, you will buy some shares. Uh, I mean, like I said, I bought Infosys at uh, 300, sold it at 750, but I bought Hero Honda at 10 and at 40, and I held on till it reached uh, some al almost equivalent to. <clears throat> after split and bonus, I sold it at about 2500, that is after the Japanese had left Hero Honda, right? Then it became Hero Motors. At that stage only I sold. So, I have held it for 20 years. HDFC Bank, I have still not sold, bought in 1994. HDFC Limited, yes, bought in 1978, 1980 and still holding. Uh, I have sold a bit in between. Reliance, bought, sold, bought, sold, done, did everything. So, did I do a buy and hold in my portfolio? Yes. Did I do only buy and hold in my portfolio? No. So, largely there are problems which humanity has not been able to solve over long periods of time. So, we try to look for the holy grail and find out okay, what is that magic that we have to do to create wealth. There is no such magic. There, if it was a single magic, everybody would do it and everybody would get 8 percent return or 7 percent return or maybe even 5 percent return because everybody would come into it, right? Does it require great rocket science to tell you invest in RBI bonds, you will make 7 percent? Everybody makes 7 percent. Your IQ does not matter. In the uh, field of investing, especially in equities, your IQ, EQ, everything matters. Somebody can say, oh, your uh, IQ does not matter, only your EQ matters. I do not agree. Everything matters because you have to have the IQ to know the importance of EQ, right? So, it is not very easy. They, I mean, I can tell you that, oh, real estate, I did not make money, but Niranjan Nirandandani did make money. Right. So, the, uh, Mr. Deepak Parekh or Mr. Uday Kotak have ma made money in uh, all the fields that they have gone into. So, the question is then, uh, what all should you do? Should you invest in real estate, in gold, in cryptocurrency, whatever? I think you should learn. So, get yourself educated. Do not come and ask me for shortcuts. Will doing CFP uh, be good for investing? Answer is no. You have to do CA or you have to do your CFA pass properly, uh, do a good MBA, some kind of education definitely helps, a lot of reading helps, hold, uh, buy and hold helps, trading helps, everything helps. You have to see what suits you, what you are willing to do, are you willing to commit that much of time to investing. Uh, do not compare yourself to a Buffett or a Naren or a Mukesh Ambani, they are full time into it, you are part time into it. So, see what you want to do. 
you don't understand anything at all stick to an index you want to sit and learn you can pick up stocks you can pick up mutual funds not an issue but don't get into this unprepared thank you